Do I enjoy teaching? Yes, I love it. That's why I'm in it. Uh, I've been teaching now for, hmm, let's put it this way, I've been playing a musical instrument for since I was five years of age. And I play all the brass, I play all the woodwinds, I play piano, I studied piano for 14 years. I went to the different schools over in England and uh, went to Leeds University and I got one degree there and then I went on to the Royal Academy of Music London and got my master's degree there. And I taught at Berkeley School of Music in Boston, I taught at New England School, I've taught high schools, I've taught Babson College. Uh, it's, and it's all fun. And plus I've been a minister of music for the last 45 years, doing choir work and teaching groups how to sing and that type of thing. So <clears throat> what music means to me, that's it in a nutshell. I love it. And I love giving kids a little bit of what I've experienced throughout my life. Right now we're teaching everything from violin, piano, viola, cello, bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, voice, uh, flute, clarinet, saxophone, uh, sax, uh, barry sax, trombone, um, tuba, piano of course, and um, we just run a full spectrum here as far as and then most of our teachers, we all have a master's degree or above. Once you get a reputation of being a good school and working very well, the teachers seem to come to you. Uh, they want to be associated with a good school and uh, because the reputation's there. And when you have somebody like Margaret, who uh, uh, was in the string department with Moscow Conservatory, and. 25 years and has a daughter playing with the symphonies in Chicago and it's, it's really fantastic when you have that kind of wealth of knowledge and then you partake and pass it on to somebody else that is not as fortunate and that's what we try to do. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday we're usually closed and uh, we go from noontime till eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. Music, to me personally, helps any child, uh, especially academically, because it just teaches them the basics of um, how to memorize things, the basics of the discipline of practicing every day and become good at the instrument and everything else. So, Everything I've done over the years teaching, both in high school and college and everything else, I've found that music is such an important, to me it's a very important link to teaching education because um, kids get uptight, they go into drugs, all that kind of stuff. I find that kids that are into music don't get involved with drugs. Kids that are into sports don't get involved with drugs. And you put the education to go along with the music and the sports and things like that. You can't have anything better. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, personally, uh, as my own, uh, well, that's the way I've figured it out for the last 50 years, to be quite honest with you. She has kids right now from the age of four all the way up to 80. And uh, we have, oh yes, we have uh, adults that uh, are learning to play something that they gave up when they were kids. I've got a couple of students myself, one played a trumpet. She wanted to play like Harry James. Well, you don't start to play like Harry James when you're 60 years of age. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But she did very, very well and still is doing well. And then I've got another gentleman that's playing the alto sax always wanted to play an alto sax and uh, so we started him and uh, now he's playing some of the Gershwin melodies and things like that. What we can do with a four-year-old is teach him percussion. Uh, they play games, they learn 
how to remember. As a matter of fact, Mark is fantastic with her. She, she'll maybe line up 10 or 15 and as they get more progressive with their re, re thinking, uh, she'll put up maybe 20, 25 different items and they have to remember each item and what color it was and everything else and that's all part of the training and they do that when they're that age, young. I mean, I hadn't seen it done before but Margaret did it and it was preschool type of work and it's, which is something else we've got going now. We have a preschool program where we teach the young children about uh, playing a triangle, drums, musical little xylophones and things like that. So we do things in that respect as far as teaching the child from the age of four and up. They've got to be able to have a, at least a five or six minute span for concentration because they only have a one minute or 30 second span like some of the kids do at that age. Well, any person that is going to start a new instrument, you've got to give them six months. I mean, you can't decide in two weeks or three weeks if it's going to work or not. I have a little cartoon, and it was given to me by an old teacher of mine. And as the teacher is kneel, leaning on the piano like I'm doing right now, he says to the student very nicely and says, if you don't practice, I'm going to tell your parents that you've got talent. And uh, they kind of look at you and say, well, what does that mean? And so you explain it to them, if you don't practice, I'm going to tell your parents you've got talent. And then when they hear the word, you've got talent, you're in trouble. So you may as well work with me and against, instead of against me, you know. So that little things like that, we, we just bring up with the kids. And it's a lot of fun. And I have all pictures of my, in my room, which uh, for different groups that I've had and all that type of thing. And the kids are always interested. And then I take pictures of my students and put them on the wall. I've got some students right now on my wall that I've had for 15 years and 20 years. Some of them are married now. They're still on my wall. And uh, they all come in, oh, I'm still on your wall. Yeah. And uh, it goes over big. The kids never forget it. And uh, I get cards now from uh, students that I haven't seen in maybe 15, 20 years. And uh, just thanking you for some of the things you've done for them. So. Uh, 